Okay. Welcome to Free Toast Hosts. We're so glad you pulled up a chair, whether you're local or wherever you might be. We are happy to have you here. We have an amazing presentation ready to go. This is Kit Barkley. And Kit Barkley has been using Free Toast Hosts for over 16 years. He knew it when it was a little itty bitty. Mm -hmm. Right. He is a vice president of education in one club and a secretary in two others. And all I can say is he knows his stuff. We are currently recording and we are going to be making sure that this is available to everyone. But in the meantime, let's give a warm welcome to Kip Barclay. Yay. So glad, so glad to be here. Yes, I want to share Free Toast Toast with y'all. It has been around since 2004. <clears throat> there are 11,000 clubs that use it. There must be a reason for that. My experience with technology and clubs, a smart person will show up and create something. And when the smart person leaves, it dies. Free Toast Toast has enough other people that know about it that when your smart person leaves, you can still function and you can go see what other people do. I get the screen share here. Let me go pull up one thing here. I will say... Actually, Kip, before you start, if you have any questions, Go ahead and put it in the chat box with a question mark in front, and I will interrupt periodically as Kip allows us. So make yes. sure you put your questions, because if you have a question, so does someone else. Lois will be watching the chat because I will be distracted, but I will cause pause at different points, <clears throat> if not encouraged to do so sooner, to find out if we are in sync, if I'm talking about what you want to hear, and if you're still in the room. Well, there is a PowerPoint slide on, on right, Zoom. Isn't that a wonderful thing? If you look at it, there is a handout. We have sent it around. That is a handout on a early bird, on a, on a free toast host website web page. You can actually do that sort of thing. One of the quaint things you can do with, with this PowerPoint foolishness, which I will put aside for a moment in a bit, is you can pin me and then you go to that little box within a box and you can flip back and forth between my smiling face and whatever I have thought you might like to be looking at. That is a useful tool and I can't control that that I know about, but you can. It'll make your performance more better. You can flip between whatever I'm putting on the screen and myself. And then there's another link to another handout, which is the same handout. Free Toast Host, all you do is go to the website, toastmastersclubs.org. Tell them you want a free website and they will make sure you're a real club and set you up. And they have support and all of those wonderful things. So I recommend everyone get it. Uh, they expect the VP education to be the person <clears throat> central to the running of Free Toast Host. I find it has value to all seven club officers, and they should all have admin access to it. This is not a bank. There's no money. Just get in there and do stuff that works. So that is my humble opinion on Free Toast Host. Now I'm gonna go look for my copy and run it. I have permission, yes I do, certainly, to, uh, to display, uh, that's not it. Let's go find it again. We're gonna go find, where did Free Toast, we're just gonna go there. We're gonna go to, our club is Early Bird. I have more than one club, E-A-R. L Y B I R D Toastmastersclubs.org and up will come this. Am I screen sharing or am I talking to myself? I you think are I'm talking talking to yourself, sir. I enjoy intelligent conversation, but I'm gonna put pre toast host up on the screen. Where now we're go? seeing it. I, but I wanna see early bird. 
People want in, do deal with them, yes. Come on. Um, one moment, I'm gonna get that back because that's what our program is about. I'm gonna pull this over and now I'm gonna go to share screen, which I've lost. There it is. What you are looking at is the front page of a free toast host website. This is what the world sees. This is what the world sees when they come to you. I hear background noise, people talking and things. Um, you have 23 seconds before they leave when they come to your website. Um, you want to have you want to demonstrate that you are alive and how do they join your meeting those are the two things that they would really like to go see we have a link to explain how to join our zoom we figure the zoom bombers will not find that <clears throat> before we can change our password again so we can just hang it on our website so it stays there and we show all these smiling people and everyone in that picture wants me to change it. On the front of the website, you put things like your physical address, if you have one. Somewhere you put, you put your area and your club number, because officers do not know what that is, and they go to trainings, and they don't know anything to sign up. So you, you put that somewhere on your club member, on your club, on your, on your front page. On a free Toast Host website, there is a main menu of public stuff, which anybody can see. There is a members only page, which people need a password to see. If you want people to really see it, put it on the public members page. Looking down there, there are things like, meet our members. Our members are very reluctant to fill in anything, as you will see. I respect the privacy of everyone. 80% do not care what is here. 5% are militant about their privacy. Your club looks better <clears throat> if you have pictures and you have paragraphs that show why this is a group of people who you would really like to meet. You can put in all your Facebook stuff and with Kip the Wizard, you can even link into personal web pages which may not show up on this Zoom, so we don't care. We're not marketing KIPP today. That is the public member directory. People meet our members, people look at that. Are your officers actually present? Are they involved? That is all terribly important to get them to come around and check out your website. You put a club, club calendar there where you show them you show them when you meet because they want to find your club. And then you put everything else you can find like area contests and everything else because that makes people want to come back and look at your calendar. That is good for members. That is good for everyone. What else do we have on this wonder? We put a pay dues thing outside of the password because password is so baffling to people. Just go in here, pay, renew your dues now, click here and you're set. We put it all out there in the public section. What else is in the public section? If we do anything we think is really wonderful like when we do tall tales, we make a web page for that too. And we put it on there and you can link to it and send it wherever you want. These are the kind of things that one puts on the front page of a free toast host website or any other. You have social media links. If you have your own club stuff, that's great. If you have generic that is what you have. Let us pause. Lois, do we have questions? Do I still have an audience? You still have an audience and you have a couple of questions. Number one, you have on your payment page to pay nine months at a time. So 
There was a question, do you change that every month or is it automatic or how does that work? That is a pull down menu, let's go there. Calculating dues I have found to be extremely difficult for my very bright, clever, well-educated friends. So if I go down here and do a pull down, I see a pull down. Do you or just? Yes. Does, okay. Yeah, I see a pull down. That was just the default. Thank you. Right. So you go in there. All you got to do is know for how many months they're joining. You don't have to calculate anything. Okay. Uh, you have to go back and then enter a new member kit if they're new. But the calculation of dues has been a mystery for me for decades. And the treasurer has to go back and clean up the mess and apologize for wrong numbers. And it's just happened to Bruce. Okay, so you have another question here. How much of what's on the left side of this screen is set up already for us? And how much do we have to set up? Half of what is there is custom that I have put there and I'll show you how to do that. We're going to, we're going to start superficially. Um, I'm going to talk about this like you were a regular member. And then if you were an officer, what you might be doing then. Okay. And lastly, and I know you're going to cover this. We've got a number of members that are asking, how do we enable the payments? Okay, you have to open an account with somebody, like PayPal is the one I understand, but there are others. And they give you links and buttons like I was showing. Uh, let's go find them again, pay dues. So all that is, is a PayPal button, which you would use on a website or any other online thing you were doing but you're pasting it into a free toast host web page, which I'll show you when I get down the road, but that's how you do it. And after the first one, it's pretty simple. More questions? Shall we nope, toggle? We are good, over? thank you so much. All right, so looking at the front page, meeting info and directions is customizable, but standard. We don't care about that so much nowadays because we are all Zooming, but you can do that sort of thing. Contact us. You can go have a contact form come in. That's a wonderful thing to have. I showed you the Cub calendar, meet our members, free resources, videos. Yeah, who looks at those? We refer people to the district because we're good loyalists. We talk about the contests and free toast host. So the half of this is custom and half is, we have a Zoom page where we assume you know nothing about Zoom. This is a custom page where we, here is our link and the, and the meeting ID if you prefer that. We're warning you we're gonna get dragged to a password. And then there's a whole bunch of tips and tutorials on Zoom here. So, uh, we want to make this a page people will tell their friends about and maybe join us. Uh, on the web, you want to give everyone a reason to come back. That is what is on the front page. Uh, that is half of it is stock and the other half is customizable or put in by me. All right. Now, if you go over to meet our members, me members only meeting agendas. Oops, it will not work unless I log in as a member or as an admin. I will do member. Uh, the trick with free Toast Toast, Bank of America and Wells Fargo have a lot more money than Toastmasters. Their software is smoother. I'm going to enter the name guest. I'm going to type it slowly until the system wakes up and recognizes it. Now it sees guest down at the bottom. <clears throat> it wants you to check that gray box. It does not want you to type in guest. Then I put in the magic password for guest. Um, uh, dun, 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 yes. And let's see if it likes it. It gives me a message which I never read. And now I am logged in as a member of Early Bird. Now I can go to members only, look at meeting agendas, 
Here is Thursday's program. We like online sign up. We do not like planning our meeting in front of our guests. We find that very distracting. And we like the pictures of our guests. Guests do not cooperate with pictures. So I either go to Facebook or, or LinkedIn, or I use video capture and snag them. Occasionally the women object to the picture, even though I think it's great. I'm not too stupid to argue about that. And they can put their own picture up when we get to their profiles. So we like the pictures because you know who you're talking about. And we like the sign up online and you can cancel online. So we know what we're doing when we get to our meeting and look organized. You can go down in, and look at future meetings and just keep scrolling along, having a wonderful time with that. We're looking for an international meeting with a, a club in India for on this date of the 24th. We'll see if it works. Y'all come and visit. We're going to split the jobs in half, see if we can crash the internet. Um, let's see, looking at this agenda, there's an envelope. You can email it to people. You can print it. There is a person. You can search. How, how often have I spoke? You can look that, look that up. There's a sign up sheet where you can come and see what's open for the next month. We love everyone to sign up in advance because we don't want to chase them around. We got other things to do. All right, I'm going to go back to other things. There's a mentor protege section, which I've never used. It looks extensive. Toastmasters wants us to use it. Do explore it and then offer Lois a workshop on it, but it's there. Um, what else is there? There is club email addresses. You can have a fake email address for you like president.3659 at Toastmasters if you don't want to hang this email out in the world. Also, when, the, when you stop being president, the new Toastmaster gets all the mail right away. It's really handy. There are mail forwarders. There's one that is members dot whatever for all your members in your club. And there's one for all the officers in your club. There's also some for guests and visitors, but those are trickier. We'll get to why later. Let's see what else. Edit your profile. When you go to your profile, you can click whether you will let Barclay edit your page. I always set the page up for the person and click yes trusting and apathy that 80% will not interfere. Here is a dummy email address. That means no email goes anywhere because of this. As a Toastmaster, you can link up to your social media, put all of those things in, oh, here they are, they're over here. All your social media, put in the links and you can upload your own picture and write your own bio. Our people will not write their own bios. I interview them and then tell them I send them the bio and then I post it. And most all of them will like, like it. The one that doesn't, I take it down. Yep. Yes. There was a question back on the emails, for instance. Can you go back to that section? Yes. Of email addresses? Yes. How does the system know the president-3659 goes to Jeff? I'm assuming that all of these are being sent to these individuals. How does the system know that? Right, when we get into the admin, you assign who is president and who is what. Okay, and one of the members is saying they're not getting these emails. Is that because they probably didn't set up the 3659 or did you have to set that up too? Something is not set up, you know, get the admin password and go in and fix it. We will walk through that when I do admin. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm starting from simple and going to complicated. Awesome. Thank you so much. So, okay. Those are those. Uh, we went to private member directory. Oh yes. If, if you're a member, then you can look at all the private member directories and see everyone in the club. I am very good at stalking people and getting pictures. I add folks like the area director, 
so that uh, uh, he knows what we're doing and we know what he looks like if he shows up. So these are all very helpful things to do. There's another category called other officer. If you want somebody getting officer mail who's not an officer, you can make them other officer. The data, member database in Free Toast Host is completely separate from Toastmasters International. You can have any presidential candidate be a member of your club here, and no one will know unless they rat you out. Here are all of our lovely faces. Some of them are like Facebook and some don't. Guest is a dummy member, so we just use this. So if we have a guest speaking, we put guest in that slot. We know it's a guest and then have to figure out who it is. Questions? Okay, bylaws, no one, oh, let's go to member downloads. Member downloads is a wonderful thing Instead of having a filing cap, a, a, a black notebook that the secretary has, and no one's seen the secretary for four months, you put it all here. You know, all the branding stuff, contest forms, meeting roles, minutes, pathways stuff. You just put it all there. There's a way to trick a free toast host into creating folders, but in the admin folder, like here's all this leadership stuff and letterhead and use of clubs, funds, policy, and all the yummy stuff that only certain people really like. But you can put all of this stuff there. Here you are seeing that the member has access to it. In the admin section, you can upload it. Uh, club bylaws, nobody cares about that except district people, so that's fine. Uh, flag etiquette, you always got one of those people. Uh, we have a memorial. That is the kind of thing that, here's our some free toast host supporting documents and forums. You can go ask people, what the heck am I seeing? How do I fix this? Every free toast host uh, website ends in toastmastersclubs.org. If you Google toastmastersclubs.org, you see umpteen thousand free toast toast websites and some very creative people have been at work there. And you say, I bet I can figure that out. Or maybe you just go and ask them. Say, you're very smart, what did you do? So that is one of the advantages of a popular service. You can go out and ask for help. Any questions on this sort of thing? We seem to be good so far. Hot dig. All right, now there's the admin password. Here we're gonna go down and log in as admin. The ID is always your club number. The password is whatever you want it to be. It should not be your guest password, but that's the way it is. It's, it's not the password here. This is a computer system. Every time you change how you're logged in, your rights change. So now I am member guest, but I have admin privileges. If I go back to, let's look at the private member directory. There are now officer notes where you can say comments on people. The things you put there are what their dues are paid through, name of spouses, Ah, uh, yes, that's good. And let's see why you don't see them. They travel half the year, things like that. Uh, some people are militant about not being visible online. So you would put in there once online privacy so you don't forget and blow their cover. We don't ask why they want it. We respect that they want it. And things like, I'm going to resign in September, don't bother me. We put in notes like that. Uh, but we don't put anything embarrassing because next year we might elect them president and they'll see it and get mad at us, you know, come looking for us. But this can save half hour at a board meeting when you are wondering, what is Barkley feeling about this? Well, just go look him up and there it is. Or you can chat for half an hour and still get it wrong. So this is a very lovely feature to use. So I just suggest that. <coughs> we 
when you go in and do admin, uh, let's see, nothing else is obvious that change. Water, pardon me. Okay, we are done with the admin rights without the admin console. Any questions or shall we leap in? Leap in, my good man, leap in. Ah, there it is. Here is the make the web website layout look different. <clears throat> it's boxy, it's clumsy, an artist will be upset, they can't make it the way they want it, too bad. Uh, you can tweak it, but there's only so much you can do. Go do it, play with what is there. Since the last time I looked at it, it has changed and I haven't looked at it again. So there's things you can do. One thing you can do is instead of having your club number for the website, early bird is not 3659.toastmastersclubs.org, it's early bird. So if you would like to put a name there instead of the number, you can do that. That helps. If you would like, if you have your own custom web domain, you can have that instead of toastmastersclubs.org. You may have to play with your domain registrar to get all of that work. There's a very nice place here to put custom website information. Like we, for, we get people set up a Facebook account and then they fall off the earth. We have no idea how to get in or where it is or what. So if you write all this stuff down and put it on the website, maybe someone will find it. So we like that. Moving right along. Member management. Here is the member slot for, here is the page where I would enter members. And I put in their name and their email and a phone number. The email must be unique to the club. They can have the same email in another club. I can give them an officer role or make them other officer. But that is where I go do that. Um, and that's how the system decides who the president is. From there, I can go over and play with their uh, personal setup. Aha, I have, I'm enabled to work on Jeff's web page. Excellent, I can do that. And then uh, I, there's email we don't care so much about. We care about member profiles and pictures. Some people have more than one email. Let's look at that. Uh, if you have a, a company and a personal email, Free Toast Host lets you do things only if it recognizes you by your email. So if you got two emails, you got to tell it both emails. Uh, simple enough. It will send everything to both or the first one, whatever you tell it. Some people have had problems with periods in their Gmail address, like kip.barkley at gmail.com somehow come, doesn't work, but kipbarkley at gmail.com does. So you put them both in and everybody's happy. These are games we learn to play with the system. Free Toast Host is international. It deals with the laws of the European Union. So if I want to add Lois as a member, I would put her in and her email and it would ask Lois to opt in to be in our database. Lois is very busy. She hasn't got time for this stuff. So I would put in my email address instead of hers, a second one, and then I would opt in for her. Uh, then I would go back again. The way you create your password in Free Toast Toast is where I logged in. You enter your name. The system recognizes you, you leave your password blank, and it emails your ad, admin, your address of record with a link to create your own password. I would do that for Lois too, because she is a very busy person. And it would be something like capital L, let me in 22 exclamation point. And then I would say to Lois, welcome so much to Early Bird Toastmasters. We love you to pieces on our club website, your temporary password is 
let me in 22 exclamation, please log in and change it and check your privacy statements because I've already checked, let Kip edit Lois's picture. And she may not want that. Uh, that is one of the annoyances of free toast hosts being international, where you have to do all this two-step to get around European privacy laws, which do not apply in this country. So it's very hard to put in guests because you've got to do all this foolishness again. And some of the guests may not want your mail. So that's a problem. I do other things for mail nowadays. Does this make sense to anybody? Tell me more. Talk to me. Yes, but if you could kind of click down on those drop downs so they could see what the select by group is and how that works. Okay. Uh, okay, like, uh, let's find select by group. Down, down to the right, to the right. Uh, nope, to the right, right there. Whoop, down to the right. Oh, okay. So, they can be custom groups. It could be like Kip's, Kip's protégés, or it can be the officers, or the mentors, or all those kinds of people. If I want to go find them or perhaps email to them. Uh, yes, that's how that works. Uh, we can create custom groups if we are a big enough club where that is useful. I've never used it, but other people have bigger clubs. More questions? Nope, you're good. All right, all right. So the idea of having a prospects list and a guest list, now you can have follow-up. So you can go over here and write in here that this person showed up, was last seen in 2015, and we're not sure we like them. Uh, because you end up with these lists, you have no idea who they are or what or who. It's a lot of maintenance, and then there is opting in. So there's a lot of this available on Free Toast Host. I don't use it. Uh, I do a blind copy and invite people to Zoom meetings when we're meeting, and that seems to work. I don't do this. You can keep track of former members and be friends, you know, people who wander by. They were area director once and all that good stuff. Uh, you can send a new member welcome. That's a nice thing. There's a form letter and you pick who it goes to. There is, let's see what else we got here. There is an email checker. You can go down here, email address checker. It'll go down every email address it has and tell you if it bounces. Because people move, people change, people don't want to hear from you. And that is a very good thing to go look at. So there's wonderful tools like this. Settings, I have not used this, but, and then free toast hosts like Zoom, it keeps changing. You just come back, poke around and explore some more, see what is there. There is a email contacts form where who should get the club email? What is the club address? All those kinds of good things. You go put that in. Email security has to do with who can send what. Here's all those forwarding addresses. There's a contact form. It gives you three people who might respond if a guest inquires. We've got Barkley because he's reliable. The president, we hope he's reliable. We didn't know anybody else who was reliable. Uh, Here's mentoring stuff. It is extensive. I have not used it. Someone really interested in mentoring, if they'll play with it. And Lois would love to have a workshop on that. I'm sure, sure. That's the kind of stuff sitting there in the member management. Oh, we did that. Contact custom web pages. This is a clumsy, what you see is what you get website. We're going to go down and find the pay dues website. We're going to bring it up. And here's a little box. That means there's a form and another form. If you go up to, if you're a real geek, you go to source and you go in here and you start seeing there's the form that is 
PayPal code to make buttons. Uh, that's beyond the scope of what I was looking to share, but you can go do this, but it's a lot clumsier than some of the really fancy uh, web page editors and what you see is what you get at things, but it does work. Yep. When, yes. Since there are a number of questions on this page. Yes. Is it possible for you to export or copy that HTML code and provide it to people and then they would just need to change the link on the button and they would need to change the pricing? Right. I, I can go paste it into a text file and away you go. Okay, so for so those of you that are asking specifically for the payments, uh, can you go back up to that section, Kip? Because I think this is gonna be really important for most people. Okay. Uh, let's go find. They would have to go get their own PayPal account and their own button or they would be paying me. And our treasurer would love extra money, but then you're gonna be after him to get it back. So this is a form here which is peculiar to uh, Early Bird Toastmasters, this club. It has its security. You can't crack it real easy. So you have to go to PayPal first and create a button. If we're hanging around after hours here, I can go show you some of that. But first step is, is build a button. So once they get past the button, that section, you should be able to copy for them. Right. Where it has all the pricing and stuff like that. So they at least have a good jump on it. The pricing is in the button. The pricing is in the button itself. It's a pull down button. Yeah, thank, thank Amazon, you know. Got it. Thank you. So, so you're getting into how to use PayPal here and not really the website thing. With the website, let's, we'll go look at more of them. You have a choice down at the bottom. You can make a website for everybody, members only, only officers, and then one you can link to, but you can't find unless you know it's there, like the handout for tonight. So there's a bunch of choices you can play with. You can create links. Let's go find a link. Here is a link to the Toastmasters magazine website, where you go to toastmasters.org magazine. And then it, what's it do? It wants a label. And I think that's all it wants, except it wants to know it's public. So you can do link to somebody else's website. So there's a lot of cute stuff you can do. You start having to know a little bit about web pages to do this stuff, but it's here. Questions? There was a question, where was this handout? I'll go ahead and put that in the chat again. And does the website link to Toastmasters.org to see who has paid, or is that a manual process? That's manual. Free Toast Toast is completely separate. Uh, but I will get to the do. There's a very nice dues thing, and we're heading that way. Okay. File manager. Here's where you make all those lovely downloads. The way pay, 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 the way Free Toast Host creates a folder is you name a file and with a, and a name that has a colon and a space, what's, be, what's before the colon and space is seen as a folder name and what's after it is a file name. So all these guys who start off admin colon are in a folder called admin colon when you look at it. So that's a trick, that's a, that is a uh, free toast host trick. Other people don't do it that way. And the rest of it is just upload it and name it and away you go. Uh, dues management, let's look at that. In dues management, you sit, figure out who your treasurer is, when are dues due, what are they? Where do you mail the check if you're one of those people that still has checks? All right, then you have a invoice those are the settings, which is a mail merge. And it looks like that. And it even has a PayPal link in the bottom because we took the link from PayPal and put it there. Our corporate people want invoices so they can get paid back. Other folks don't care. Other people want to use a credit card and not fool with cash. Then there is this mail out the, uh, 
here you are. This will mail out the invoices. And looking at this, I will look around and Barclay is paid. I know that. And he paid by PayPal. It's the third one in. So I'm going to go over and check him off. So this thing will send out, you know, whenever you want, tell, you know, email requests to people. And uh, it's really handy. And you can track who's there. So we don't send an invoice to the guest. We don't send an invoice to the area director. We might send him one just to upset him and to show him uh, what our invoice looks like because he might learn something. So like you can put a note over here, it says area, if you can spell. And now I can update changes only. Two members were updated, no invoices were sent. So you see this thing, this is really very handy for treasurers. Then there's dues follow up where you can do more threatening letters and get statistics and reports. It's a wonderful thing. So nice, this is, very nice. So this is, tell your treasurer about this and they will. Uh, and what section is that under? Can you go back up to the top? Yes, it's, it's in two places. It is either in admin, uh, dues management, but if you log in as treasurer, then a system knows your treasurer and it's one of your choices and members only. Fabulous. So we do have a couple of questions. It's not about this necessarily, okay. but I, if you want to pop over it. So first question was, does Fritosos have any facility for a blog? I have not. There's capacity for links. I have not seen one and look for one. And the more clever you are, the more likely is you could figure out how to go do it. Um, more than likely, looked at blog uh, pages elsewhere, you'd put your blog elsewhere and uh, link to it from the custom web page section. That's what I was thinking. And then if a member wants to sign up to speak at a future meeting, can you step us through how to do that? That was asked a couple of times. Okay, let's we'll get out of the admin section. The member would log in and go to club calendar. Where am I? Wrong section. And you find the meeting of interest. Now I have to set up agendas. I didn't get into that. I've only done them through October. PayPal does not let you do group edits of agendas so you don't want to do six months of them and then introduce a, a body motion monitor and have to put it in that many times but like here you can go to october first meeting click on it and there is the meeting no one has signed up right now it still thinks i'm guest i could go in and just sign up and there is the guest signed up I can take myself out clicking the X and there it is. There's another wonderful thing here. Let me show you. I'm going to put the guest in. I'm going to have the guest do their pathways icebreaker. Now, because they've chosen their path, you can go to evaluation form and there is the form. So, you don't have to email them and say, where's the form for your project and all that. If they will be nice enough to put it all in Free Toast Host, here it is. And this is an editable PDF. You don't have to read my hand scratching. I can type in this and send you a legible evaluation. And then can you email it right from here? Uh, I have not tried that. What I would do, since it's on my machine, is I would print it to cute PDF. Okay. and then email it. Thank you. Nice to know. I did not realize yeah. it did that. Yeah, I don't trust things to work. So I like before I send it to people, kind of like to look at it first, see whether I'm going to alienate them for life. So, so yeah, this business, especially with Zoom, when the person isn't, you know, two tables down from you, uh, you can go get their, uh, their uh, evaluation form. So, and 
I see you can save the project details. Can you as a member go back and look at your project details? Project, you mean description? Yes. yes. Well, no, down below it says save project details. Ah, that's the save. So like I come in here and say, oh, I'm back on that. Oh, I see. I, I'm going to go. It's the icebreaker project description. Right. So now I would, if I say icebreaker, And if I say I'm scared, <laughs> I can now save that. And there's the introduction for the Toastmaster of the day. And I can read it six months later if nobody deletes it. Oh, OK. Now, down at the bottom, there are things like uh, notes. So Kip Barkley can, oh, I'm guest right now. I could say. Uh, if I were a club officer, I could say I was a counter. Because you can make meeting minutes out of this. All you, you put in here, the only stuff that's missing for meeting minutes is uh, uh, bom, 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 you know, who won and guests who were present but didn't do anything. And, table topics. So you can put in here meeting minutes or you can upload minute meeting minutes. They're down here too. So you can get around the annoyance of club minutes, program minutes by using this thing. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. Let me remove the guest or we're going to wonder what's going on six months from now. <laughs> Okay, let's look around here. What else is there? When you want to edit an agenda, this gets trickier. You have to go in and you have a crayon to add the edit the presiding officer, delete the presiding officer, move them around in position. This is clumsy. The first time you do this, you'll make a mess. Yeah. You can say things like, is this a role you can sign up for? Is there a speech? And all these lovely things you would put in. Whenever you're playing with a web page and did not intend to make changes, uh, never hit save when you leave. <laughs> but this only changes the template going forward, or was that changing an actual date? That, that changes that meeting. And then for templates, templates are the plus and somebody will have gone in now I'm at make a new meeting I'm going to make a new meeting for November and I'm going to do it November 24th and I've already made the templates because they're tedious like for a humorous uh, speech contest and I'm going to save it. And let's see. Now, if I look at it, I don't want to look at it that way. I'm going to close it. It's going to come up. And there's the whole layout for a humorous speech contest. You got to do it the first time, and it's tricky and it's clumsy. You get halfway through and make a mess and start over. Uh, but uh, so you, you can use previous meetings or templates you created for future meetings. Okay. And you could delete one of those um, contestant roles. Yes. By just going in and clicking the edit. Right, or add more. If, we, if, if six people signed up, I'd add two more just because I want all I can get type thing. Okay, can you show them edit. how to add more? Uh, yeah, you would go to, we're going to go down here. Okay, we're going to edit. We're going to go down to the bottom. We're going to say contestant. Oh, so it already has them set up. I see. Well, no, I've already been in there. It, it, because this is not a, a pure system, not a clean system. So now it's going to make it, it's going to put it down at the bottom. And now I got to slide it up. But this thing is remembering stuff from the last several years. Okay, so there's contestant seven. 
I understood. So there was a question from Toastmaster Janaki. Can you upload videos of some fun contests like embedded on the main page or can it be a link that navigates you out of the website? Yeah, Free Toast Host wants you to use YouTube for videos. They're worried about space. So you can link to YouTube. I have not done it. They assure me you can. Yeah, I would think it's just like linking anything once you yeah. have that. And then we had another question. Can you download a template from another club? Uh, I have never tried that. That would be one of the things you go to help desk. Can I say, do you guys have contest templates that you like because I'm lazy and don't want to spend an hour creating my own? Yeah. Uh, and if it's a long, if it's a free toast host, it's been around, you go back a year ago and look for the last contest and use it as a template. <laughs> okay. Right. We're caught up. I am looking around for what other things are there really to tell you about. We're about done with it. We've been, oh, in the, uh, here we are looking at meetings. If I go into the crayon to select a meeting, I can put in attendance and I can say I am not attending November 24 because I just don't feel like going. And so we're going to put, I'm guest. So it has to be guest. If I was using admin, I could say Lois wasn't attending. So now if we do a sign up sheet and we include November 24, let's see, is it going to make a liar out of me? I got pictures, images in the way. Yeah, it's supposed to be, let's keep looking. It should have down at the bottom that guest isn't coming, but I don't, not attending. Well, that generally works, but <laughs> tell your friends you're not coming. Okay, and I was doing some research and they say that it doesn't look like you can import the agendas. I think it's just too hard. Yeah, they, they start you off with two, and then from there, you're just supposed to keep building on them. Right, right. And all it takes is a rainy afternoon and some cursing and frustration, and then you've got it. And then I hide them, because I don't want an, an apprentice VP education to mangle my agenda. So I'll put them two years in the past where they can't find them. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, here's another question. Again? Does the site only allow PayPal or will it work with other payments also? Other payment, any link. All, all, all that Free Toast Host knows about PayPal is it's a link. It's a form. And can it take a payment from someone who is not a guest? Yes, we put our, pay, we put our, uh, our PayPal link outside of login because we get people trying to join and pay dues and they haven't joined yet. And it's too complicated. We take their money, we know how to refund it. So we just take it. <laughs> so basically if, if you did not log in and you go to the early bird, pay early bird dues, then you have to pick your name? No, you just pay. You can, you can tell us who you are if you like. Got it. So you don't have to log in. So that's nice right. to know. And then okay. how do we showcase our newsletter for public download? Just create uh, a page? I would make a page. You'd put something splashy on the front page with a link. We don't really do a newsletter, but we, we're proud of being online. So we put our Zoom Hollywood Squares there. I'm not sure I answered that question. John Kate, can you unmute yourself? Did we answer it? Because you can do a link, but yeah. that means you're putting it somewhere else. You're actually having the newsletter like in your Google Drive or something like that. Right. So actually, uh, what, what I meant was like, you know, we have like um, monthly newsletters based on like the contest or, you know, if we have a theme for the month and based on that, like we uh, create our newsletters and mm -hmm. it would be cool for like the, uh, the members to see like, you know, okay, this is what has happened in the past month rather yeah. 
just being on like the landing page and then you're like scrolling all the way down right so i thought like if there's a way that i can say like you know november december january february and go and check out our monthly newsletters and these are like just simple pdfs like five yep. or six i could put them in member downloads mm -hmm. and put them all in a folder with a link like we you know with a something like newsletter colon so it puts them all there yeah I'm gonna and then you can make them public and just point at them on a web page on Got a custom, custom web page Last five newsletters. Here they are. Dong, dong, dong. Click. Yep. So they don't have to go to member downloads to find it. Right. Yeah. Every choice you give them, you lose half your people. Let's figure that. <laughs> and you know, I'm, I'm looking online to also continue on that thought process. They suggested that you create a page called newsletter, and then each newsletter is a link that's clickable. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, that's super smart. But thank you guys. I mean, I was figuring it out and um, yeah, thanks for that. And I yeah. think I'm going to try it out and see if that works. I think it'll, I just want people to go and check out like what's going up, going yeah. on in the club and what has happened in the past and what's upcoming. Yeah. I've had good luck with a page that name doesn't change, but just <laughs> the content because then they yeah. know how to find it. Okay. Uh, maybe I have to like guide them, like check out our newsletters in one of these pages, I'm guessing public downloads, yeah. Well, you could have on your front page a link to your custom page. Right. If you want to see your newsletters, right. click here and that goes to your custom page, which then has the list of your monthly newsletters. Got right. Because here I am looking at the Tall Tales web page and if I click file download, is it going to download it or show it to me? But it's going to go grab it off of member member files. Well, that's because you picked download, but you could have just said display and it would have gone to another page. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> when I see it work twice, I'll believe it. Yes. Okay. More thoughts, more questions. Well, Eve, you have in here or the calendar with a question mark. I'm not sure. I lost my train of thought on that. What was your or the calendar meaning? Sorry, I'm in the club with Jonaki um, because she also laid out a nice calendar. And one of the first things that he showed was the, the calendar functionality here. So I thought that was a might be an option as well to show events. Can you link things into the calendar like that? Yes. Uh, let's see. When you make an agenda, you get a blue entry and those are club meetings. The area contest down here, I clicked on and I did not give it a web page, but it's supposed to go off to the uh, area 21 contest registration. Right, okay, so Eve, this wouldn't necessarily work unless you're loading up your newsletters on another website or can you link it within this website? You you could load your your web your your newsletters in member downloads, and group them all in one folder so you don't create a huge you know clutter. And so Not you could the, then put it. You could put the URL going back to that web that page. Right. right. Instead of the website, I'll just put that custom URL that I created, and then point them to that public folder with multiple newsletters. Right. Right. Oh, and Chris and Jim came up with a nice idea, adding the YouTube link for yes. each meeting on the calendar so you can see going backwards what happened at the meeting. Nice. And also, uh, because those club links are, are links to agendas, I will put in things like uh, contest. So now I have two links and I can put a URL with the other link, or I could have see the YouTube and the link right here. How did you add that contest? You just double clicked in that box? I just double clicked and I am whatever rights I have. I think I'm a, I'm either admin or member right now. I'm not sure what I am. Okay. The wonderful game of rights. Let's look down at the bottom. Okay. Yellow means a member put it in. No, gray means a member put it in. Okay, yellow means I did, club, yeah. yeah. They want to know who to blame. But everybody can see it. 
If I yeah. add it, everybody can see it. Yes. But test it before you tell too many people. Always test. <laughs> yes, good point. Have we covered the wonders of this? Is there more? Are there side topics anybody wants to gross about or anything? Well, I think some people would like to get your contact information in case they have some one-on-one -on -one issues that they would like to approach with you. I love to do that. Let me go look around and find uh, on the desktop. I'll stop sharing. I'll go look around my desktop for my contacts. Stuff. Now I've lost the desktop. Um, and you're getting lots of kudos in here that it's been very enlightening. Great job. Extremely helpful. Right. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you. You have a very astute, perceptive audience. I like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the sharing, but I'll leave the room open so that we can still continue to chat. Okay, I'm 